The deadly water struggle, seven-year-old Musambele's life was tragically cut short. She drowned in a river while fetching water with her then 12-year-old sister. Little Musa became the face of the water struggle in Guadua. It's been a year and nine months since her departure. The water and electricity crisis have worsened in Kwakwa and surrounding towns. So we are struggling with electricity, we are struggling with water, and we are also struggling with the safety of the people, especially at night when the people have to go to work. Our biggest problem here is electricity. No water, no electricity. It's a crisis. Another water-induced tragedy in 2018, Tapelo Mozanyana was shot dead, allegedly by police during violent service delivery protests. The Mozanyana family is yet to find closure following the death of their breadwinner. They have been left with more questions than answers. <laughs> Since 2018, I never heard from law enforcers again. I don't know how far are they with the case. All I want is for the culprit to pay because my son left a three-year-old with no one to look after him. In Castel, desperate residents collect water from the filthy stream. It's often an unpleasant race against the time by young and old. As if that is not enough, cable theft has exacerbated power outages. Illegal connections have added fuel to the fire. We actually went for areas that, uh, whether that we know that have a serious problem with power outages. For example, Blue Gambush, Love those areas there have serious, serious power outages. And then, unfortunately, they are linked with the industrial area, and we don't want to lose any industrialists in that area because of power failures. So in terms of that and, and, and revenue collection, smart meters are the way to go, and then we hope that this will help the municipality in the near future. The taps are dry, yet various water sources are almost at full capacity. They include the Fikapazo Dam, whose level is on the rise. Apumelele Mdlalane, SABC News, Kwakwa.